okay, it's time for get to the point, get, get to the point. Get to the point. Get get to the point. Dev to nails 48 square. Well, I'm going to get to the point right on out the gate. No. How? Why? When? Where? Why y'all didn't tell me that Greg Lee's was talking about if a, if a man cheat, it's because the woman made him do it. What? Child, please. This came from Bravo. And this story is so far back in the past, I don't know how I forgot about it or how I overlooked it. This came from Bravo, dated July 29th of this year. Now, we're going back. We're going way on back. Because, like I said, if I would have known about it, I would have talked about it. Because that was on my radar as a pet peeve that a man feels that if they looking outside of their marriage to get their little groove on with some hussy or some mistress, okay, it's because their wife made them do it. Bullshit. I call bullshit and flag on play. Let's get into it. Okay. The journalist or the correspondent that wrote this piece up uh, is a Bravo Entertainment employee. Her name is Miriam Garvey. And uh, like I said, uh, she works for Bravo Entertainment as one of their job journalists, correspondents, columnists. And her title went like this nene leaks husband greg says when a man cheats it's the woman's fault okay so let's dig into this and i'm like yeah let's dig on into this here let's dig 12 16 18 feet because that's where we need to drop greg right after he became uh we call it cancer free we should just threw his ass up in that burial plot that could have turned the other way. You get my drill? How is you going to blame somebody? How is any man going to blame somebody stepping out because their wife made them do it? God, really? No, that was self-indulgence is what that was. Okay, it says, we spoke to Rory Sansoon, relationship expert and co-founder of Upscale Matchmaking Agency, Platinum PR about Greg's theory. Okay. Nene Leak's husband, Greg Leak's, has a strong opinion on why men step out on women. Basically, the Real Housewives of Atlanta husband says, well, if the one, it's the woman's fault. She can't keep her man from straying. What? No. Flag on play. That's your wayward dick. That's what's out of order, Greg. That is the why, when, where, and how a man walks out. Or he wants to creep out, brother. And that pisses me off. I used to like Greg. But after reading this story, if it is allegedly true, Greg, you might get told off too when the season come back. Because I'm looking at you from both sides. The right side, the left side. The both, the right side, the left side. And both sides think to print at your head with ugh, just anger at you. That you would make a stupid statement like that. That's probably why you didn't get a chance to stay with your other wives or girlfriends. Because they saw how piss poor of you are as a man. Is Nene rubbing off on you, Greg? Is Nene rubbing off on you? Or did you did Nene pick up your bad traits? And we seeing you in her. Tell me which one, Greg Leaks. Tell me which one. Okay. Going back to the article, it said, Greg and I had a great discussion today about relationships he says when a man steps out it's because something you meaning a woman not doing right okay and i said no i don't agree with that no woman should agree with that okay because it's not the fault when a man uh well when a woman cheats we can't say oh the man not pleasing her this thing that now nah, hell that's something you wanted to do you saw some good eye candy out there and you wanted to creep so it's the same thing just a, a different gender doing it. Okay, it's bad behavior. Bad behavior on both parties. But we stick it to the male because Greg put his foot in his mouth and he <coughs> stood up there and went to the bank to cast a check that had insufficient funds in it. Okay? All right. Going back to the article, it said, uh, do you disagree or agree with Greg? Of course, you can see by me going off in this video, I could care two cents about Greg ass, okay? And while Nene was up there, 
uh, if it wasn't a plot or a storyline, but if she was really up there trying to do for her husband, congratulate you, Nene. But don't be no fool for Greg. Put his ass in a nursing home. Can you say he don't feel want to be with you because he feel like he can cheat because you're not pleasing him or doing what you're supposed to be doing? So he says he could creep out. That's the excuse. Put his ass in a nursing home. Tell him three words. A nursing home for you brother okay anyway going back to the article it said greg and i okay i'm sorry it said uh he has to be kidding right my answer to that was bullshit think he was trying to get under my skin p.s no this isn't about us it's a relationship discussion with other couples today okay um nini hashtag life of the least chit chat Hashtag Nina posted on Instagram. Okay, it says, let's get into this insanity. Personal space spoke to Rossi Sassoon, relationships expert and co-founder of Upscale match Matchmaker Agency, Platinum PR, and Greg's Theory. If this is the case, does it work the same if it was the woman stepping out? It's because there's something he is not doing right. Now, see, I just said that. Okay, but you know, like I said, I like to read the articles right with you all okay and so then if it don't turn out the way i felt it i had to come back and retract and say look as i was reading the article just like you know you hear me or uh, read it to you all over the uh internet we both got the assumption together all right but it's still playing in my theory that greg is an asshole but let's get on back to this article it said um <clears throat> It's because there's something he is not doing right. This is a he said, she said at its finest. Every ish, every relationship has different issues, and it really depends on the situation and circumstances, Sassoon said. People cheat for every conceivable reason, she added. <laughs> in my experience as a rich uh, in my experience as a relationship expert, I've seen men and women step out for all kinds of reasons. Usually their needs are not being met, whether it be emotional, physical, or mental. There are several steps to be taken that can save the relationship before it gets to infidelity. What, ha what have both partners done about it, Sassoon asked. For a man, when a man steps out, I have frequently seen that he feels there is no longer respect in the relationship. He feels that he is a walking wallet. His woman has emasculated him. His needs are not being met, Sassoon said, maybe emotionally or physically. Especially a man with a certain status of money, he feels like he is entitled to it. It's easy for a man to start over as it's usually the man that makes the first move. So he steps out because he thinks he can and is not willing to do what he needs to see that his needs are met. This is why I always say that a man should love a woman a little more than the woman loves him. He should be so crazy about her that he is not going to cheat on her. For a woman to remain faithful, the guy should be emotionally lubricating her, Sassoon said. Why? Because when he is emotionally massaging her, being sweet and seeing that her needs are met, the relationship should be amazing and delicious. A woman will be turned on and inclined to want to satisfy her partner. Either way, it's not okay for either partner to cheat and you need to be able to work your stuff out. Now, I totally agree. Okay, but this is more so the expert relationship person talking. Uh, she also goes back to say you are either going to have reasons to blame your partner so you can step out or you are going to have a relationship that works. Winners take responsibilities and losers blame others. Okay. And Nene had posted this on her feed, um, on her Instagram account. She wrote under her caption, Greg and I have a great discussion today about relationships. He says, when a man steps out, it's because something you not doing right. Agree or disagree? He has to be kidding, right? My answer to that was bullshit. I think he was trying to get under my skin. P.S. No, this isn't about us. It's a relationship discussion, which other couples today, you know, had attended, I guess, the same couples therapy they were going to. Then it said, um, uh, P.S.S. Hey, we are having another couples discussion soon. You should come over. It's actually really fun for me. Hmm, Greg looks great, by the way. Okay. Um, and I think that's pretty much about it, but Greg did express those types of, you know, um, sympathy, oh, not sympathy, um, he sympathized with the 
plight that a man can cheat if his uh, wife is not giving him everything he, de uh, he depends on and he wishes for her to do for him. So that was his pretty, pretty much staple to fame that if it is uh, a cheating situation going on and the male is being the one who's being the cheater, it's because his wife is not taking care of him. Now, I'm like, Greg, go to hell, okay? <laughs> go to hell, go to hell, and go to hell. And if you can't go to hell right now, nursing home. Those are two words that you should get very familiar with because Nene should be telling you every time she look at you, nursing home, okay? You ain't too far from that part where you got one foot in the gray and one foot on dry land, meaning the earth, okay? Where you're not being put in some cold looking casket and uh, let down six feet under. But see me, I'll be ready to beat you 12 more feet, okay? For making a silly uh, male chauvinist type of response is that, okay? But that's all I got for the video. Y'all go and tell me what y'all thought about the video. You can actually go to Bravo, Google it, put in Nene Leak's husband, Greg, says when a man cheats, it's the woman's fault. And it will come up. Yes, it will. It'll come up all in black and white with his little fedora hat looking like an OG, but need to be pressed down. And I mean put down if you get my drip, okay? Because that's a piss poor and a man to even have that faulty way of thinking. Even a woman, it can go the other way too as well. You cheat because you want to cheat. You cheat because you think you can get away with it. But your conscience or whatever done into dark going to come back to light and it's going to find a way to catch you back up with your ass. Okay? So my deal is I ain't on team uh, Greg no more. No, I'm not. I don't know what he could do to reprieve. I don't know. Retract his statement. Maybe that would be better. But then the fact that he would even come out and speak that where people could hear you know what I'm saying? It was already a foul thing in his mind. But when it, you bring it out and it comes out your mouth, child, please. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing nice to think about, Greg. Okay? I ain't got nothing. That could have just been his karma. You know, when you do wrong, sometimes your health fail. Okay? When you do people wrong, even in the it's biblical when sometimes people are given great wealth, but they don't have the health to enjoy that great wealth. Okay? Think about it. All right. But y'all get down in them comments. I know it's an article that had been out there since July, but y'all, I had to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? We family. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. But that dog on uh, Cheetah, Greg, uh -uh. once a cheetah, always a cheetah. So that's probably why Nene has this bad attitude running around him when a drudge up other people's dirt. You know what I'm saying? Because the hurt hurt people. Understand that. Now, when they're hurting and they seeing somebody else in a position that they want to be, they're all lovely, lovely, you know, all that ain't my my way of thinking. Because I'm like, I want everybody to be happy. Whether you're single or whether by choice or you're married by choice or, you know, however you want to spin it. I want everybody to be happy, especially when you're in a relationship with somebody. I mean, monogamy has not went anywhere. Being faithful in a relationship, whether you're in a relationship, thinking about getting married, or y'all just started forming a unity of a relationship, or if you're married, come on, y'all. Be faithful to your partners. If you don't want them, tell them and get the step. That's better. I would love to have it that way. You tell me you don't need me no more, this, that, and the third, and you sorry that it ended this way, but you don't want to cheat on me, so you finna let me go. I would applaud you being a man. At least you stepped to me as a man, as an adult, and you spoke your truth. But when you go around him trying to play the fence, trying to straddle, trying to have your cake and eat it too, no, nah, you're going to catch a case that way, and it's going to be hands on, okay? And then it might be a six feet under deal. How these women run out here now with these men cheating on them and playing on them. These both ain't playing with their emotions no more. Don't play with people's emotions, people. But that's all I got for this video. I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for coming, family. Thank you. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel, okay? We need to hit 10,000 before the summer. We need to hit 10,000. That is my goal. So come on. Come on. I know you can do it for me. I'm not asking you for cash app. I'm not asking you for PayPal. I'm not asking you for Super Chat. All thing I'm asking is for you to come over to my channel. Love on me by subscribing, subscribing, subscribing. And, and then again, telling your friends, foes, or whoever, and then liking my videos. That's another good point you can do for your old girlfriend. Whether you look at your girlfriend, or aunt, a mama, some crazy family member. Hey, it's a family affair. I keep telling y'all that. 
help me out. All right. By doing those things. Love you guys. Bye.